they did a survey out of 50 places, the 50 worst places to live in the UK and Huddersfield is number two. So let's see for ourselves what it's like. Yeah, it's uh, <laughs> nothing special, is it? Nothing special at all. It's a typical English town. But there's some life here. There's uh, things going on. Usually when I come to a new place, first few moments are quite enjoyable because it's a new place but yeah this looks pretty pretty deprived to be honest let's turn around Usually if you see a lot of these places like one below, one pound or less, it's a pretty deprived area. That place has a place with all their windows smashed up and taped up. Yeah, I'm not doing these videos to offend anyone. I'm just seeing from my own eyes what it looks like and let people make their own judgments let's go left here it's a nice nice bicycle lane at least I just did a video in Bradford and their uh, bicycle lanes were terrible it wasn't fun to ride a bike there this seems much more promising So I'm going to turn right here. People are having some bevies at the pub. We are not going through the red light, but it's not red. It's a bank holiday today. It's three o'clock. Uh, and again, that's... Don't have to stop at the red lights. Keep the video flowing. Got the Sains roots here. So far it's pretty pretty nice to ride a bike so far. Building's getting a lot of construction, if you can see that. So Huddersfield just lost the playoff championship final against Nottingham Forest. I am from Nottingham, but unfortunately I don't support Nottingham. I was born in Derby, which is next door to Nottingham. Let's go right here. And <laughs> Derby got relegated and Nottingham is our rivals. So not a great year for Derby Football Club. This is Huddersfield Open Market. Try not to run over these pigeons. Got a market going on here. Started to drizzle with rain. Hopefully that's not hitting the lens of my camera. I guess the market is closing down for the day. Most of their markets do most of their business during the morning time, around lunchtime. So 
far it's yeah a lot of deprived buildings you know it's <laughs> life isn't really popping here you know there's not much going on um oh wait i can't go this way pay attention jake um but i think i prefer this to bradford bradford is only like 20 minutes away from here So with my bike, it's not that fun. <laughs> Off we go. If you're enjoying this video and you want to see more videos like this one, then don't forget to subscribe. I do other bike tours around the country as well, not just to the worst places, but the best places. And this is a dead end. Here. Oh wait, I could have just gone straight. There's a bike lane. See there's a bike lane just here on the left I can go. On. A shared bus, taxi, bike. doing deliveries for Stuart. That was the first company I ever did deliveries for on my electric bike I'm using right now. I haven't done deliveries for a long time. It's got left here. I did create a YouTube channel. Oh, okay. I'll be fine. I created a YouTube channel called Gig Hustle which got a, a lot of attention but I, uh, I don't really do deliveries too much nowadays I actually got a job got offered a job based off someone who was watching my videos a consultant that's what I'm doing as my kind of day job and whenever I have time like a public holiday like today Interesting choice of music. Yeah, Any time like today, a public holiday, come out and visit different cities and towns across the UK. I do have plans to go international at some point, but I need to uh, put in the work, start grinding out the videos. I say grinding out, but uh, it's not. Uh, it's not that I don't enjoy it, <laughs> it's just a lot of work. And uh, all right, I think what we can do now is head over towards the residential area. I think we've covered the town pretty much. Let's jump to the front of the queue. Uh, we can go into this bike lane. So it took me about an hour and a half to drive to Bradford and then uh, 20 minutes from Bradford to here. So eventually I'd like to monetize this channel once I get to a thousand subscribers so I can cover at least the fuel it costs to get me here. crisis you know with the fuel going up cost of everything going up because that's linked to fuel and oil I like to at least cover <laughs> cover the expenses of this YouTube channel otherwise it's just an expensive hobby but a fun one I still still worth the money to travel to new places on my bike Ooh, I can go to the bike lane in front
a few minutes away from the residential area that I picked out for you guys. So I'll be a bit cheeky and go to the front. Ah, why not? saw me it's all good hey but the uh the vibe here in Huddersfield is is not too bad you know it's like i'm not getting bad vibes it's like yeah like it, there isn't as probably as much investment going on in this town but i think there's quite a lot of english towns which can be in that category i mean i probably will want to live here so but just coming to visit for this quick bike tour around Huddersfield, it's okay, it's not too bad. Some interesting buildings here, abandoned. I think if I was walking through the town, <laughs> the vibe would be much worse. All right, we're entering this residential area now. My mapping skills, you can see on my phone here. I can see exactly where I want to show you guys. I do all this research before I uh, did it yesterday. Spent a few hours just kind of making sure I have the map ready. So. I'm not faffing about when I'm here. <laughs> Got a cobweb in my face. Ugh. Let's go down here. Show you some of the housing here. I really like the brick housing. And on the right, yeah, it's quite nice here. This housing's very typical of Yorkshire must be because of the natural resources, the stone, whatever the brick's made out of. Let's go right here. I have some good news though, I got an email this morning saying that I got a pretty much a pay rise with the work I'm doing that I asked for a few months ago because of to help with this cost of living going up. I think there's only two things you can do during times like this is save or make more money or do both. It's probably the best combination. I can tell I'm hungry because all these food places that we're going by smells good. When I was in Bradford, there was quite, quite a lot of Muslim people. So I think this is quite a similar thing here in Huddersfield. Um, and that's why a lot of the, like the food places are halal, like grill shops, burger shops, kebab shop vibe. Go down Common Road. Can you see that? Common Road. 
it should be called Uncommon Road. I don't think many roads look like this. And I can smell Asian food, like Indian, Pakistani food. Let's make the light. I don't want to get stuck here again. Come on. Here we go. We'll go left here. Beautiful. We just made it. I'm going to turn around. I saw a pretty, pretty cool street I'd like to show you guys. Down here, someone's got their washing out. You know what, like. Huddersfield Town Centre is definitely nothing special. I wouldn't spend much time going there if I was living here for sure, but these residential areas are they're clean, nice looking houses. They're not like run down or anything. Let's go this way. Ooh, can I go down the street? Oh yeah. I love going down narrow streets like this. I don't know why. I think there's a really cool perspective. It's quite unique on these streets. You get a glimpse of what life is like here in Huddersfield. And it's very quiet as well. Not that much traffic. Ideally, I'd like to get past this car. Okay, he's turning in. Or oh, she's turning in, sorry. Wow, that's a tight, tight corner. Oh, no, it's a guy. And we're coming out. Where are we coming out? guys if you enjoyed this video i'm gonna put some other videos just like this one onto your screen for you to check out thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video